In the U.S., the decline of Christianity continues at a rapid pace. So less people are going to church. And if you're less people, in 1962, they removed uh, prayer from schools. Yeah. I posted on Instagram back in the day. I went to school, and we got up and said, I pledge allegiance to the flag. Yep. Did you go to school and said, yep. really? So, so you said yeah. pledge of allegiance to school? Mm -hmm. Today, what do you think they have? No pledge of allegiance to school. It was usually during the second period or like the second hour. Of the, yeah. Right? Yeah. And so the lack of faith has eroded in America. The lack of patriotism in America has eroded. The lack of order, the lack of structure, lack of the right type of alignment. You know, alignment defines your assignment. So if this morality and these values and principles are eroding, then we have this type of situation. It's getting harder and harder as a man to even find the most basic human function of re reproduction. Even to just find a woman you can reproduce with. You also couple that with the fact that they've destroyed morality in women also. So when you destroy the morality in men and you destroy how a man should act and then you destroy how a woman should act, it's, they're go, you're both going in the opposite direction. Most women out there are very happy to share a man who's just rich and famous and they don't, they don't care. So, so if you're the normal guy, you know, there's, there's this rich famous guy with 30 girls, that's 29 dudes who are lonely. Right, what, he, what he's saying here is absolutely true. That the, that the big oh, right. imbalance between men and women, which has been created by the sexual revolution in which men and women were not expected to marry one another and then pair off one-on-one, -on -one, has created tremendous imbalances just population-wide. And also he's correct that obviously you have to be more successful in order to achieve appeal to women in today's day and age because they have many more options with regard to men. Also because men aren't pairing up one-to-one -one with women, women aren't pairing up one-to-one -one with men. That, that's just statistically reality. If you're a big baller, you have a lot of money, you're out on a dating scene, you know, women are okay sharing you. Like, that's a literal fact. I've seen it happen where I have a, guy, a buddy of mine who's multimillionaire. He's not married. He's a bachelor. He's 41 years old. He's a bachelor. And he's always sending me the, like, all these pictures and where he goes and who he's hanging out with. And he's with, like, multiple women at a time. Like, dude, I thought you were dating this girl. He's like, yeah, yeah. But she doesn't care because, you know, my situation. And now she brought her friend. <laughs> so it's all these things. But now the problem is, and why, why a lot of these young men are having problems with the relationships, the, a lot of these young men who are broke, Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not, by the way, I'm not condoning it. I'm not saying that's the correct thing to do. I, I don't think that you should, I think there's certain lines that you shouldn't cross just because you have money. It doesn't mean that you should take advantage of your status. But a lot of these young men, they're trying to pull the same stunt while working at a Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. like you can't be working at a Chick-fil-A and expect to pull the same game as a guy who's deep in, into, into his cash. You can't expect to have Lamborghini energy driving a Toyota Corolla from like 2002. Like you can't expect that. You, you you need to be able to start somewhere. Man, manner still, uh, they, 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 manner still matter, matter. You know the way you carry yourself still matters. You know being chivalrous still matters. You know having morals and principles at any age still matter. Unfortunately, some women just care more about that security, that safety, and they're more materialistic in certain areas mm -hmm. that they don't care if they're getting treated as the second or third person in a relationship or in the picture because at the end of the day, the guy's going to provide financially if they just ask for it. We're praying for our men and women today. Find you some Jesus. Find your faith. Guys, if, if, for those of you looking for a manual on how to attract the right woman, open up Proverbs. Open up Proverbs 31. A wife of noble character, not one million followers on Instagram. Uh, what's the young lady at, uh, she's the um, LSU gymnast. Um, anyway, this LSU gymnast, Olivia Dunn, she signed an NILD. She's making millions of dollars because these college athletes now can get paid. 20 year olds. 20 she's old. making millions of dollars as a gymnast. She can't even go to class right now. But she's being harassed by all these fellow college students and, and boys harassing her. And, and by the way, she goes perform. These 12, 13, 14 year old boys are following her. Well, live you done, live you done, right? But a bunch of fanboys out there. Hey, be men, do your part. Stand up for what you feel is right. That's not right. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.